more fun games than movies. This is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Subscriptions are a huge boost. The banished prince of the Fire Nation, Zuko, comes searching for honor and glory in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Zuko's powerful firebending abilities and skills in the martial arts left him well prepared to take on just about any foe he encountered throughout his restless pursuit of the Avatar. His cunning, perseverance, and resourcefulness are all deserving of some respect. And here, in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, it's no different. Zuko's combat abilities are of course top-notch, and he has plenty of unique tools around his standard moveset to make him an even more well-rounded fighter. So let's just jump straight into his kit and see what's in store. Zuko's light attacks are quick, short, flaming strikes that provide a potent combo game, and his charge attacks are a bit on the slow side, but are generally great finishers or offer unique coverage and solid range. By pressing down special, Zuko will pull out his dual sabers, the infamous blue spirit's weapon of choice. With the swords equipped, a few of Zuko's moves like his jab, forward air, and charge forward attacks will all change slightly, generally being a bit faster and hitting harder compared to the regular versions. In addition to this, the swords themselves are actually a throwable projectile. Through some clever item play, Zuko can extend combos or find openings in ways that would be otherwise impossible. If you ever lose your swords, don't worry, you'll be able to pull out a new pair after a few seconds. By the way, in addition to just pressing down special, you can also pull out the swords during Zuko's grounded light forward attack. Normally, there's three parts to this move if you keep pressing the light attack button, but if you press the special button after the first part, he'll swipe upwards, launching opponents for an easy follow-up. And if you press the special button after the second part instead, Zuko will pull out his swords while executing a powerful spike. Next up is Zuko's side special, Ring of Fire. This is a big, flaming projectile that can cover a lot of space. Tapping the special button will make the ring travel faster, while holding it down will make the ring travel slower. The slime version of this attack will send a ring out in both directions. Altogether, this is a fantastic move if you need to apply some pressure from afar, or if you need to cover some space on a platform, or against a recovering opponent. Speaking of recovery, this is where Zuko can fall short. Using an explosive burst of flames, Zuko's up special launches him into the air, and then transitions into a free fall. After the explosion, Zuko has no way of protecting himself, so you might need to spend some slime on the enhanced version for a quicker rise, or to cancel and dodge out of it. One additional way of fighting your way back, however, is through the use of his charged up air. It can only be used once before touching the ground again, but it'll provide a little bit of extra height and get you closer to the stage. Lastly, there's Zuko's neutral special. Dancing Dragon Punch! This move is Dancing very, Dragon very Punch! slow and easy to dodge, but also very, very powerful, and if you manage to find a way to land it, you'll almost Dancing certainly be rewarded with a KO. The slime version of this attack enhances this move's strength, making it possible to even shatter an opponent's shield in one hit. Zuko altogether has a very well-rounded moveset and the capability of delivering a devastating offense, but with his middle-of-the-pack speed, light weight, and weak recovery, you'll need to spend some time looking inward and carefully calculate how you choose to approach your opponent. Are you ready to take control of your destiny and prove yourself on the battlefield? Then try out Zuko in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, available through the Season Pass.